Hi guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be talking about healthy fats. Specifically, I'm gonna go over examples of foods that you can add to your diet to get more healthy fats, some benefits of those healthy fats, as well as what kind of fat you want to avoid, the unhealthy fat, right? So if you want any of that information, stay tuned for today's video. All right, so let's start out with the many, many, many benefits of healthy fat. It is number one, amazing for your heart, okay? It's going to help to reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke. It's gonna help lower your blood pressure, lower your bad cholesterol. Healthy fats are also amazing for your hair, skin, nails, and even lubricating your joints. Also, brain health, immune health, I could go on and on with the benefits of healthy fats. So bottom line, healthy fats are amazing for you and you need them in your life, <laughs> okay? Bottom line. So let's just dive right into some examples of how you can get more healthy fats in your diet. So first off, let's go over olive oil. Olive oil is one of my staples. You can use this as a salad dressing. You can even cook your food in it, like veggies. You can cook shrimp. Um, I even put this like with chicken. There are many ways that you can incorporate this. Now, I do wanna say that you want to watch how much because this and all of these healthy fats are going to be pretty high in calories. So that doesn't mean that you wanna avoid these foods altogether because as we've said you need them in your life but you do want to watch your portions and measure them out okay because you could think that you're pouring one tablespoon of this and it ends up being about three or four and that's a ton of calories so that's just something to kind of keep an eye out for so normally I'll just use one tablespoon of this for whatever I'm doing and it's an amazing way to get more healthy fats in your diet and this here was cheap. I think it only cost me about $1.99, almost $2 to get this bottle. Now they do have other kinds like extra virgin olive oil, some that are probably a little bit of a better quality. You can get that too. But bottom line, you want to get olive oil in your diet, right? On that same token, olives. You can have these as is right out of here like I do, or you can even put them in a salad, sky's the limit. But this is also another source of healthy fats. Um, the only thing I would caution you with this is that they can be pretty high in sodium, so keep an eye on that. Next, we have nuts and seeds. So some of the kinds of nuts that I love are walnuts. I love pecans. Also almonds, cashews. There are tons of kinds of nuts out there. You can just kind of snack on a handful of them. You can add them to like um, a salad, oatmeal, something like that. Also when it comes to seeds, you can add them to a salad, to uh, some people put them in their smoothies. There are so many ways that you can incorporate these. I really love chia seeds as well as flax seeds. Both of these are extremely nutritionally dense. So not only are they gonna have tons of healthy fats, but they also have so many other vital nutrients. So when you snack on these or when you add these to your meals, you can really know that you're getting beneficial nutrients into your diet, right? That's the name of the game. So adding nuts and seeds. And I've even seen people make like a chia seed pudding. So I've seen that before too. So the sky's the limit with that. And if you want some recipes of um, what you can do with these flax seeds or chia seeds, whatever, let me know. Maybe I'll do a video about that coming up. Okay, so just let me know. Next, one of my favorites, avocado. Oh my goodness, I just love avocados. Let me know in the comments below, do you love or do you hate avocado? Because I feel like it's either a love or hate type of relationship, right? So let me know in the comments below. So when it comes to avocados, the reason I think I love these so much is because they're so versatile. You can just 
chop these up and eat them as is. You can add them to a salad, to a wrap, to your eggs. You can smash it up and make guacamole. You can even make salad dressing using avocado. So the sky's the limit when it comes to this. And I think it's delicious. So those are just a few ways that you can use it and an amazing way to add more healthy fats into your diet, right? If you like avocados, honestly, this is one of my favorite ways to get more healthy fats, right? Let's move on. So next I wanna talk about um, fatty fish, which is very high in omega-3s, which is a kind of fat that is amazing for your heart. So, so amazing for your heart. So I love salmon. That's probably my favorite kind of fatty fish. Um, I normally have it probably about two times per week. And you can even add a little bit of olive oil on there too to double your healthy fats, right? So those are a couple of the things that I use and I incorporate into my diet to get healthy fats. Um, and I really do see the difference in my skin, in the way I feel, because before, before I knew about all this, I had any information about healthy fats, I just didn't get them in my diet because I thought that if you ate fat, that you were going to get fat, which is just not true. What happens is because all of these healthy fats are so high in calories, if you just eat so much of them because you just think they're healthy, you know, then you're gonna have a high caloric intake for the day. So of course you're gonna gain weight if you eat too many calories. So the main thing when it comes to healthy fats is just pay attention to how much you're eating to your portions. That's all you have to do. But as we already said, you need these in your life. So you gotta find a way to have that balance, right? Um, lastly, let's talk about the kind of fat you want to avoid. Number one is trans fats. We should be reading our nutritional labels, guys. So if you're not, I would suggest starting to do that. You don't have to, you know, read it like uh, forever, but you can just glance at the basic things. And if you want me to do a video on reading food labels, I absolutely will, because I've already kind of been thinking about it. But yes, read your labels. And if it has any trans fats, you don't want it. Trans fat is so bad for you. So bad for you. Don't do it. Don't do it, right? Don't do it. Next, saturated fats. Now, I won't say don't have any saturated fats ever. You have to balance. You don't wanna just eliminate it completely from your life but you do want to limit it. You should mostly be having omega-3s, polyunsaturated fats, and monounsaturated fats. That's what the bulk of your healthy, the bulk of your fats should be. But you can have some saturated fats, and normally they're in like red meat, you know, things like that, because um, I'm sure a lot of us don't wanna just eliminate red meat altogether. Myself, I usually have it about, I'd say once a week, sometimes twice a week if it's like, you know, a special occasion or if I have a craving. But normally the rest of my week is filled with other healthy fat sources. So limit your saturated fat. So that is my quick run through on healthy fats. I hope you liked it. Please let me know in the comments below if you do. If you have any other healthy fat sources that you enjoy, also put it below in the comments. If you have any questions or content requests, please drop it below so that I can see it and maybe I will use it in my next video. So thanks again, guys. I will see you next time.